All right, good evening to you. Thanks for clicking on to the uh, tropical update for this evening, uh, the 7th of September. And uh, we've got lots to talk about, lots of players in the field, so to speak, folks. And uh, we've got a uh, newly formed tropical storm, Maria. And uh, that appears to be something to be watching over the next few days, especially folks in the Leicester Antilles and across the uh, Caribbean islands as uh, the system appears to be taking a more uh, southerly west track as opposed to uh, what we've seen with Katia. Now I'm going to uh, show you straight up the maps. You can see here the current, uh, uh, basically the water vapour loop of the NOAA site. And uh, you can see here a rather active Atlantic at the moment as you can see. And uh, here is uh, Hurricane Katia. We've been watching this now for quite some time. It's now down to a Category 1 hurricane. And you can see here, folks, it looks a bit ragged. The reason being is it's undergoing quite a lot of shear on the western flank of the system. As you can see here, the western uh, portion of the system here really doesn't look very good at all. A very, very strong uh, uh, west-northwest shear is really uh, causing a lot of problems. We've also got drier uh, getting wrapped into the circulation as well. So um, maximum sustained winds now are down to 85 miles per hour. However, it does appear that the system will maintain hurricane strength in the next few days. It will be able to continue to hold off and, and uh, maintain itself at around 85 to 80 mile per hour sustained winds. Newly formed uh, tropical storm Maria, you can see here, and it is continuing to track uh, a kind of west-northwest pattern. Here's the uh, Lesser Antilles here, as you can see. And these islands, as well as uh, portions of uh, the Eastern Caribbean, even Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and even the Bahamas later down the road need to pay attention, particularly the Maria. This system appears to be tracking of a similar path to what Irene took. And of course, we all know where I, Irene ended up, up the eastern seaboard of the United States. Could it um, impact the eastern uh, seaboard of the US? It's possible for sure. But thankfully, we've got plenty of time to be watching this and uh, not to panic too much just at the moment. As for the southwestern Gulf of Mexico around the Bay of Campeche, we can see here, folks, an area of disturbed weather. It's actually a frontal system that's uh, been brought uh, east-southeast after a uh, tropical storm Lee moved northwards. And quite often, we find at this time of year, these stole frontal boundaries uh, tend to sometimes spin up some low pressures on the tail end of those fronts and we're seeing the potential for development here in the Bay of Campeche. And some forecast models are uh, showing this to develop in the coming days and move in a very similar path up into uh, Louisiana and uh, southern Mississippi in the next uh, several days. But you can see here, folks, I'm going to point this out to you. Look at the amount of dry air that's an association pulled southwards on the back side of Lee. And this uh, is going to inhibit this area of low pressure from developing. So that is good news, perhaps. But unfortunately, this dry air might not maintain itself for very long. And therefore, it might open the door for this system over very warm waters, may I add. To develop and some models even predict us to become a hurricane and move towards the central Gulf of Mexico coast but again there's time to look at this time to keep an eye on things and uh, I'll certainly here at my blog keep you posted as to what's happening as for Hurricane Katia there's a couple of interesting things folk I want to point out to you first and foremost and more importantly here is the rip current risk across the eastern seaboard, a very, very large hurricane. And uh, although the system, thankfully, will stay offshore of the east coast, it will not make a direct impact in the U.S. What it will do, however, is it will produce very heavy seas. We might see uh, wave heights in the double digits, perhaps 10, 15, perhaps even 20 feet 
coming ashore along the, the outer banks of North Carolina and uh, up into the Delmarva, the Jersey Shore, Long Island, and in the Cape Cod and New England, we could be seeing heavy pounding surf as well as rip current risk, very high rip current risk, as you can see here marked in red off the Weather Channel graphic. That is a big problem for folks, anybody that wants to take to the waters in the next few days, folks, please take uh, heed. Uh, many people die from uh, rip currents and uh, do not uh, let your guard down despite the fact that Katia will remain offshore. Another thing I want to point out to you, uh, for, especially for UK interests, is if you notice here, folks,